Hey guys, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. This is the most random place for me to film. I'm actually at work. So I had saw this in the mail and I didn't want to wait. And I also have a very tight schedule right now because school is back up and I'm taking a lot of classes and I'm working. So we are doing this on my lunch break. It is about a subscription box. There's a ton of different puzzle subscriptions. One of you asked if I could review this one. If there's more that you are interested in, let me know. I do know that if you use my link down below, you get $10 off. It's just a regular person's referral link. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I did purchase this myself. And so if you are interested, I would love if you click the link because you get $10, I get $10. So it's kind of like a little joint partnership if you want to try them out. I know really nothing about it other than the fact that they are a wooden puzzle subscription. They are $24.99 per month if you pay month to month, which is what I'm doing, or you can get a bit of a discount if you purchased in large quantities. So if you are thinking about doing it for like three months to a year, then it will save you quite a bit of money. So I think this is an awesome idea as we're getting into the holidays. If you are wanting to put something on your wish list, or if you don't know what to get a puzzle lover, I feel like something like this would be really fun because it's unique puzzles that are fresh and new and most likely they do not have them already. So, oh, I also want to mention I have a P.O. box. So I mostly got it for brands because brands have been reaching out and I just feel weird giving my home address. And also a few of you have asked to send me things. So I ended up getting a P.O. box. But I love getting letters and I love being pen pals with people. So feel free to send me a letter in the mail and I'll leave my P.O. box down below. But we are just getting into this subscription box. So the puzzle brand is called Anthology. They are based in Las Vegas, which is really cool because I'm going to Las Vegas in December. And I'm thinking maybe I will try to go. It comes in this white box since I did pay for the subscription. It does have my regular mailing address on it, but it's just like a white box. And I'm just gonna open it up and do it here at work while I'm on my lunch break. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it today, but I thought you could at least see what it looks like. And if I have to go into tomorrow, that's fine. But let's just open this up. I also wanna apologize for one, the lighting, two, the audio, because I know my walls are super thin, it's super dreary outside, and I'm just like in my office, but I want to film this and get this out. So, opening it up, oh, okay. So there is a box inside the box, so I could have actually taken it out of the shipping box, but now you can see the full picture. So it does come in this black box, and on the back it has, oh, it's a Halloween one. This looks super cute. So they do all of their own puzzles. So this one is called Spooktober and it is a Halloween puzzle. So it's 200 pieces and it's called a whimsical style. I don't know what that means. I think they have different types of puzzle cuts. So it might be one that's like crazy shapes like some other wooden puzzle brands like I know Unidragon and the other one which I can never remember the name of uh, they also have like very intricate puzzle shapes it ends up being a seven inch by five and a half inch puzzle so relatively small but perfect for work so this is awesome uh, let me see what it looks like inside is there any other box all right you know what I'm just gonna point you down so you guys can see everything up close all right, so here is the box up close, just black and matte with very basic branding, which I really enjoy. And then on the binding, it just says 200 pieces, the puzzle cut type, and a tiny image, and it's called Spooktober. And we are just going to open this up so you guys can see. So it does give us a full image here, what looks super cute. Um, just a very traditional Halloween and I'm loving it. And then the puzzle pieces are in this black paper. Here are some of the puzzle pieces. They actually are glossy. I was expecting to see, you can see that it is quite glossy, which isn't horrible here because I have better lighting than when I puzzle at home. Now I am going to compare them to Unidragon quite a bit just because they are a popular wooden puzzle brand. So right off the bat, I noticed that these pieces are thicker. Um, so they are a good, I would say quarter inch thick, which is really fun. Um, they are more of a, on the sides it is darker brown, on the back it is just traditional wood color. So the pieces are a lot thicker. Um, they do have crazy intricate shapes, but they are very small. So 
I don't know if they have other size puzzles or if they're all this tiny, but it's almost like a mini puzzle size, which I enjoy. So I'm excited to do this. I'm not sure if we're going to find like different shaped puzzle pieces or if they're all just like this crazy puzzle cut. But either way, like the puzzle pieces, a bit glossy for my liking, but again, if they're nice and thick quality. So really can't be mad at them yet, but let's just see what I can do with this puzzle. So just finished kind of sorting. Um, over here we have edge pieces, which I think is too many. I think there's definitely a lot of false edges and there are some that were just like, I wasn't sure if it was straight or not. So um, just a lot of edges. This is everything else. Uh, with the piece cut in the crazy collage style puzzle, this may be pretty tricky, um, but I did want to show you these pieces. So they do have fun holiday styled puzzle piece shapes. I flipped them over so you could see the shape better, but we have a Frankenstein's monster, a cauldron, a pumpkin, a uh, little cross and bones. So that is super cute. And I just wanted to show you that. Now the pieces are quite small, but I love doing like mini puzzles. I will say they're not as small as like a micro puzzle piece, but if you have trouble like gripping, this may be pretty tricky for you. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But I'm just gonna do this puzzle or attempt to do this puzzle on my lunch break. I don't think I'm gonna finish today, um, but so far I'm liking at least like the thickness. Like they're so chunky, I love it. All right, so my lunch break is just about over. I wanted to show you my progress. I probably got about 40% of the way done. I'm loving it so far. I actually like that it's a little bit more challenging because it's not like done in 20 minutes and you only get it once a month. So I like that it's going to be a few days worth of puzzling, at least on my lunch break, which I'm excited about to have like a little project here at work. So let me show you where I'm at. This is what I'm at, maybe not even 40%, maybe like 30%. <laughs> Um, didn't get super far, but there's such crazy shapes and it's such a crazy pattern that it is pretty challenging. Plus the edge pieces, like half of my edges has, half of them aren't. And then there's little bits of edges over here. So it's been pretty tricky, but again, I like that you're kind of getting your money's worth because it's not just a super quick, easy puzzle. It actually takes a little bit to figure out. So I'm liking it. I'll check back in tomorrow. So I did not do what I was going to say. I realized throughout my work day, I was just doing like one or two pieces here and there. There's a lot of downtime sometimes when our systems are running slow. So I had like a, maybe like a couple seconds in between things I was doing and I was able to do like one or two pieces and then I actually stayed after work to finish it because I was really loving it. So the things I really enjoyed about this puzzle is one, the pieces are super thick. They're very chunky, thick pieces that are really satisfying to put in. I like the different shapes. I like the special character shapes too that are similar to the ones that Unidragon. I also liked how they made those special characters fit in with the picture. So for example, there's a picture of a pumpkin and then there was a squash shaped piece that fit in there. Or when there was a picture of a ghost, there was a ghost shaped piece in there. So I really liked that it was cute. And I could see this like being something I could do again throughout the week and not all in one sitting like I did. Um, I really enjoy like mini puzzles like this for travel. I also kind of like how simple the box is because if you had a bunch of them, you can just like have them out on a shelf and it's really well secure. Like it's not gonna open up. It's just magnetized, which is really nice. And everything else about it is super sleek. Another thing I did notice is that it was really easy to do one-handed. Sometimes wooden puzzles, it's a two-handed process because kind of trying to keep things in place and then put the puzzle 
piece in, but I don't know if it's because of the weight of the puzzle pieces or the thickness of the puzzle pieces, but it was really easy just to do one-handed, aside from a few occasions when I was just like shifting things a little bit. So there's two things that I didn't quite like about this puzzle. The first one is how shiny the pieces are. They're pretty glossy. Now I am doing it in a room with different lighting than normal. So in here it wasn't that bad, but I could see this being an issue when I'm at home when I have like an overhead light or something where it's gonna be a lot of glare because it's pretty glossy. Um, but it makes the puzzle feel really smooth. So also, since the puzzle pieces are such crazy intricate cuts, they don't quite disappear as much as they did in, say, Unidragon, where they make the puzzle cut alongside the graphic. This one is definitely random, so when you look at it close up, it does kind of distort the image a little bit, but when you're photographing it, whichever, it really doesn't matter, and when, I'm, when I was doing it, it really didn't hinder me at all either, but it doesn't have that just like smooth disappearing act that the Unidragon Dragon pieces have, but I still overall enjoyed the puzzle. I also wanted to mention again that the puzzle pieces are really small, like I'm used to doing micro puzzles, so they're larger than micro puzzle pieces, plus they're a lot thicker, so they're easier to hold. I could see this being a hard one to do though if you had maybe gripping issues, or if you had larger hands, and so, because they are really tiny pieces, so I could see this not being for everyone, but for me, I love micro puzzles, so this was totally up my alley. In general though, I really like the quality, I think for $25 it's a great option if you want to try a wooden puzzle because wooden puzzles can get pretty expensive. I mean Unidragon Dragon is around the $80 mark and this one is a bit smaller but I still feel like you get like the wooden puzzle experience. Again it's only like five by seven so it's a pretty small footprint for a puzzle. Oh I also want to mention that they do have free shipping in the US but they do also have options for international and Canada's. So I do plan on continuing on my subscription just because this is something I could really do at work and it really doesn't take up a whole bunch of space. You know, I could do this on a lunch break or if I had a few minutes here and there, or if I just like need a moment to just like veg out for two minutes, I can just have it on the side. I have lots of space on this desk here next to me. So I really enjoyed this a lot. So thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you're interested in this puzzle subscription or if you're wanting to buy it for someone in your life, I'll leave my link down below. Again, it's just a normal person's referral link. It gets you $10 off and it also gives me $10 in credit. That is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you have more puzzle subscription boxes that you want me to check out, let me know. I would gladly do them. Um, that's it for me. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys later. Bye!